Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is Mimi. On this channel, we talk about vacation, hotels, food, travel, all that good stuff. Now today, I'm back in Curacao. Yes, if you've been watching my YouTube videos for a while, you know that my first set of videos were actually based in Curacao. And we're back at a beautiful Dutch Caribbean island, one of the ABC islands. And today, we're just going for a stroll from Otrabanda to Punda. dinner at one of the wonderful restaurants here in Punda. So come along with me. I'm going to show you the beautiful, colorful buildings and just see what's good on the menu. So we made it across the bridge and we are at the Iguana Cafe. It's a nice little restaurant by the seaside. 
where you can see the water, you can see the bridge, right across from the colorful buildings and it's a really nice chill vibe. It's really nice to sit by the water. Unfortunately, all the chairs and tables by the water are occupied. Of course, everyone wants to sit there, but it's still really nice. It's very windy out. There's some music in the background, so I hope you can hear me, but we're going to check out this menu and see what's good here. And I'll let you know how everything tastes. Thank you. 
it's fresh. Let me try this up. to cut man and then after you do all that work of cutting the steak when you taste it it's just like the flavor doesn't reward you the, the steak was lacking flavor <coughs> the chicken second place the chicken was decent simple grilled chicken and then there was a chorizo sausage which was also good but also not very flavorful but I don't mind because I don't like sausage that's too salty um, anyway, I'm mindful of the fact that there's music behind me, so just wanted to give you an update on the food. Oh, the quesadilla was okay. There was big chunks of chicken in the quesadilla, but it tasted really good with the sour cream. So all in all, I will give this restaurant an 8 out of 10. Uh, definitely a must try. Definitely the view is really what brings it up to the 8, but the food is okay. The food is not bad. I really like the ribs and um, the vibe is nice, the music in the background is nice. I, I really like it, I like it. And especially sitting across from the water, sitting across from the bridge and being able to see the lights and everything of the buildings, it's really, it's a really a nice vibe. So, and it's a busy buzzing street, so you'll see some crazy things going on um, as you're sitting here. So I definitely recommend, and I think it's pretty popular here in Curacao. It's right by the Queen Emma Bridge, which is otherwise called the Floating Bridge. The, so you can't miss it. If you're in Curacao, check out the Iguana Cafe. Not bad at all. Now that we've had dinner, we're gonna get some dessert at my favorite place to get gelato in Curacao. It's um, Bella Italia, Gelati Bella Italia. If you've seen my previous video about some of the best places to eat in Curacao, you would have seen that I mentioned this place that actually serves gelato, which is delicious. So we're going there now and I'm gonna show you the flavors. Oh, it's located in the Zierkuten Mall. 